Good morning, y'all. <laughs> it's me. I am up and ready to go to work. And um, I am going to stop by the store because it's National Coffee Day. If you didn't know that it was National Coffee Day, I'm letting you know. So happy National Coffee Day. My husband has to stay home sick from work today. So send many blessings and prayers because he is homesick as of right now. I don't know if there's a, my hair's going in between my glasses or what, but something's bothering me on my, by my corner of my eyes. So, I am off to work. I'm, Jesus Christ, there's a piece of hair in my glasses. There it is right there. See it now. Okay. Got it. I knew there was something wrong. And I am still filming. <laughs> Jesus, that truck is coming up fast behind me, y'all. Fast, fast. Oh, Lord. I shouldn't have pulled out in front of it. God help me. <laughs> I thought it was going to hit me there for a minute. But, your girl is on her way to work. Going to stop by coffee shop. And get her a free coffee. Because they sent me a message to stop and get her a free coffee. On her way to work. So, yes. See if I can put y'all back up. Whoa. Okay, y'all can still see me. So yeah. Stop and get me a free coffee. On my way to work. Um what else did I want to talk about? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the new subscriber. I don't know who it is. But, you know, like I said yesterday, I like to choke on my own spit <laughs> whenever I seen I had another subscriber. I was like, oh my God, what? Okay. Um, I got a new subscriber. Hold on, I am going to redo this so I can. Okay, there we go. Now. So, yeah, thank you, thank you for the new subscriber yesterday. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Like I said, all you're going to see is my business on there. Whenever I have any city products come into my house, um, that's all you're going to see. You're going to see me do cooking videos. Um, you're going to see me show off uh, my baking. Um, you're going to see me do my air fryer videos you're gonna see me outside my house drinking coffee and showing you stuff that's going around outside of my house so yeah whoa so that's the kind of stuff that I'll be doing um, I don't do pranks and stuff like that because Stuff like that hurts people's feelings, I, I seem to think, because um, I'm, I'm a very, you know, I'm the type of person, I wouldn't want someone to do it to me. I've had stuff done to me like that, and my feelings have gotten hurt. So, um, even if it was an innocent prank, I didn't care. I got mad. And, uh... I let this traffic go. I think it's a cop right there on a the bike. Motorcycle cop. Do y'all see those around where y'all at? Motorcycle cops? Because we still see them. Um, things we don't have here in Lake Charles is the horses. The cops on the horses. Those are in New Orleans. I know New Orleans have it. We don't. We have the bicycle cops. The uh, motorcycle cops. But anyway... Uh, my phone is is shaking because I'm driving because I have my thing on my windshield. It's on my windshield holding it in my phone. 
But anyway, um, getting back to the prank videos, I don't do those because, I mean, like my husband said, it's it's not worth it because even if it gets people to, to like you and stuff and watch your videos, it hurts people's feelings. And in the end result, people aren't going to trust you because, I mean, you're always going to be doing stuff like that to them. And it's not worth it, you know. People's feelings get hurt, you know. I, I just don't, I don't, I don't approve of it. I mean, I really don't. So, to me, it's, I just, I don't like it. So, off of that subject, um, my kids used to, used to do that to me a lot, you know. Prank me and, and joke with me a lot like that. You know say something bad happened and it didn't and I just I couldn't take it you know because I lost a child <clears throat> my child was two months and 26 days and I can't take anything like that because of you know having to bury a child so young so <clears throat> if they say, oh my God, you got sensitive feelings. Yes, I got sensitive feelings because I buried a child at a young age. So, don't come to me with stuff like that because, you know, my feelings do get hurt easily, you know. But I do a lot of investigating, you know. If I think something is fishy, I'm going to investigate. Plain and simple. You know, but I do lots of... I do like to watch a lot of um, video content out there and so and I do make uh, supporter comments if it's a nice video I make a supporter comment um, I did make one comment one time and it had it, it backfired on me and I was told you know not to watch you know, I need to learn, you know, <clears throat> or not learn, but, but not to get so much, how should I say that? Um, watch out for the content creator. That's what I'm going to say. <clears throat> so... But this content creator from now on has <clears throat> been nice on my comments. Only because I'm a nice with my comments towards that content creator. <clears throat> I believe. Oh, dang. That's a dead animal on the side of the road. Woo! <clears throat> Y'all, it's fall. And the weather out here is starting to get to where my throat's getting itchy. So, it's going to be where I'm, uh, you know, getting like a little cough and stuff. So, <clears throat> oh shoot, I don't even know if I'm going to have time to stop by the freaking store. But I'm going to make time. I'm going to make time for my free coffee. But anyway, get back on that subject, which I said I wasn't, I was going to get off of it. Um. Did everybody see that the muggers came on and they had took some time off for themselves? I did. I watched it. I also seen where she said that people had called her job. And this is why I say pranks and being friends with somebody in YouTube. I mean, you can be friends with them, but you gotta watch out. I've learned this. Um, from a distance. Um, she said they were calling her job and emailing, no, not calling, emailing her job, telling her job certain things, and she kept getting pulled into her off, into the office at her job. 
this is stalker. Stalkerish. Why would dude really? I swear this dude just pulled into this lane to pull back in front of me. Anyway, um They were pulling her in because the emails were saying stuff that they knew wasn't true, but they wanted to let her know about it. But it was getting to be where it was every day that she was having to go into her job, to go into the office. And on certain days, she was getting called in and being told something. So, um, I was like, wow, okay. Why would somebody be so cruel to call somebody's job and say something like that? Why? You know, what would you accomplish? So all this woman did was she quit her job for what? A month. You know, everybody was thinking, oh, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She didn't say she was pregnant on there. Not that I remember. Um, but she did say she was ready to go back to work, <clears throat> but she was going to talk it over with Mr. Mucker and see, you know, what he would, you know, he was thinking about it. So, I, that's what I saw last night on their video so that's why I don't like to pull pranks because it can get you in boatloads of trouble you know you don't know who's watching your videos I mean you don't know if it's a job <clears throat> you don't know if it's the cops you don't know so why would you pull something like that you know and why would you call somebody's job to get them in trouble to try and get them fired? And they wind up quitting because it was just so much on them. They had so much on their plate. <clears throat> to me, that would be pressure. You putting pressure on me. You put so much pressure on me, I have to quit my job and to go work somewhere else. Y'all, I'm at the station. I'm going to get my coffee and my soda. Oh, goodness. There's a free spot right there that I didn't think they had. So, hold on. <clears throat> so. All right, y'all. Here I am at the store. Going to get my coffee and my soda. I ate my money for my soda. So if y'all hear the music, I don't own any rights to it. Alright y'all, I'll talk to y'all later. This video is going to get uploaded. I've had a good talk with y'all before this morning. And uh, y'all have a blessed, beautiful day. And prosperous Thursday.